I became what I am today at the age of 12, on a frigid, overcast day in the winter of 1975. I remember the precise moment, crouching behind a crumbling mud wall, peeking into the alley near the frozen creek. That was a long time ago, but it's wrong what they say about the past, I've learned. About how you can bury it, because the past claws its way out. Looking back now, I realize I've been peeking into that deserted alley for the last 26 years. This is how Khaled Hosseini sets the scene in the opening lines of The Kite Runner. But it's far from fiction. What happens in our childhood can greatly impact our lives. Sometimes the burden of childhood trauma can cause depression. Even years after it's all gone, could you be depressed because of your childhood experiences? In this video, we'll show you how your childhood might have impacted your depression and offer some steps you can take to heal. What was your childhood like? When we're children, we need love and protection from our parents. That's biologically encoded in us because otherwise, how could we survive? But not all parents are here for us to take us into their safe and loving embrace. If you've experienced abuse, you know well how hard childhood can be. Instead of playing with your friends and toys, you had to find a way to save yourself from an angry or distant parent. What did you have to run away from? Was it the bruises on your skin or the insulting voices? Were you humiliated and led to believe that you don't matter? Or maybe your parents weren't even present? Everyone has a different story, but no matter how the story goes, the end game is usually the same. Depression. A study in 2015 published in the journal Depression Research and Treatment found that 76% of chronically depressed patients reported clinically significant histories of childhood trauma. Let's take a closer look at why this happens. Latent vulnerability. A 2015 research study published in the journal Development and Psychopathology explains the link between childhood and depression through a concept of latent vulnerability. Here's what it means. While you were fighting to survive, your childhood mind had to become your superhero. It had to protect you not only from the scary things happening around you, but from your own thoughts as well. That's why your brain wired itself in a specific way. It may have suppressed your emotions or made you closed off to the world around you. By making these changes, it made you vulnerable. But this vulnerability was not obvious at the time. It may have stayed dormant inside of you, waiting for the right time to come out. What triggers this vulnerability? And how can you know if it shaped your depression? Latent becomes visible. Latent vulnerability makes itself known when something in your adult life triggers the child that wants to protect itself. For example, do you often feel frozen with fear when someone raises their voice at you? A 2013 study published in the journal Child Development found that being yelled at increases children's risk of developing depression. So it wouldn't be surprising if you still carried this within you. You may also have very low self-esteem. You may believe that you're worthless and tell yourself all kinds of negative things. Or maybe you feel great pressure to be perfect in everything you do because your young mind learned that nothing less than perfection was tolerable. This is shown in a 2014 research study published in Journal of Abnormal Child Psychology. Depressive symptoms in children can increase the need to satisfy unrealistically high standards. You could also be feeling anxious about losing people around you. You might think your partner or friend doesn't like you and fear that they might leave you. And maybe you don't even let anyone get close to you. What if they hurt you? Can you trust anyone? You can learn more about these feelings in our videos about attachment theory. The list of symptoms you could be feeling is endless. What is it that you're feeling? Can you tie it back to something specific that happened in your childhood? Recovery is possible. Do you feel like what we've said so far describes you? Was your childhood difficult for you to handle and left you depressed as a result? If you think that might be the case, we want you to know that recovery is possible. Please don't hesitate to talk to a mental health professional there are different types of therapy designed specifically to treat trauma survivors. For example, schema therapy is focused on reframing negative beliefs that you might have about life and yourself through a process called limited reparenting. This means recognizing, articulating, validating, and fulfilling your emotional needs. While working with your therapist, you might try out techniques such as guided imagery, role-playing exercises, schema flashcards and schema dialogues. 
Research published in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry shows that schema therapy can help reduce symptoms of chronic depression. Studies in 2006 and 2019 even showed its effectiveness in patients with borderline personality disorder. This type of therapy was developed by Jeffrey Young, an American psychologist. He wrote some amazing books about the topic too. Check out the link in the description if you're interested to learn more about it. We also linked some additional resources explaining other types of therapy you could try. Dealing with depression is not easy, especially when you've been carrying it in you for such a long time. But you need to know that you don't have to keep looking at the same deserted alley. It may always be somewhere within you, but you can learn to look away. Do you think you're ready to start the path to recovery? Let us know in the comments. And remember, we're always here for you.